Yo, check out this dope segment from the pre-patch podcast. Hope you enjoy it. Well, let's talk about Sony for a little bit. Um, we talked about Xbox. We talked about them doing, uh, you know, this whole Xbox everywhere and, you know, breaking exclusivity and all of this kind of stuff. And, um, Sony usually dies by the sword, um, when it comes to these things, but good on them uh, on this one because they didn't, they have come out and, uh, nope, that's not the one that I wanted, but, uh, <laughs> this is the one that I wanted. Um, is basically saying like, Hey, like first party PC releases will be a part of our aggressive growth plan. Um, you know, this comes from Eurogamer and several other different, uh, sites, um, talked about this Great from the president's mouth. Yep. Um, good. You know, I think again, good job on Sony, like good job on this. This is where Sony needed no, this needs to go. Yeah. Like, and this they, is only a few weeks after Jim Ryan <clears throat> officially like has left the company too. So this is a really well, that nice, was, that was a question going forward. There, that was a question that we had in the in the actual podcast chat was like do, do you guys think that this was like jim ryan was the reason why we weren't getting i think like he was playstation one of the final, ports because because like one of the final they straws they kinda. weren't pushing stuff even before jim ryan was was ceo so i i'm not i'm not 100 percent right. confident on that but i do agree that i think that he probably was a driving factor for it but yeah well i, I, I don't I know really if do he was the sole was just the, the landscape final before jim like, ryan wasn't well, profitable so, to PC port directly because even Xbox wasn't PC porting back then. But true. during the Jim Ryan era, it, it, they they didn't meet up with the times. And I think we were lucky to get the PC ports that we did years after they launched. I think this president and this new uh, team, the higher up team, management team, is recognizing that they're not going to lose out on their console player base or their profit margins in that department just well, by my, bringing it to pc my next they, they question and the benefit my next question for that then is is like do you guys feel like xbox's new direction of like play anywhere you want play on whatever you want is for is kind of forcing their hand as well um I, so i don't think i don't think it's necessarily forcing their hand as much as it is look jimmy jimmy ryby right um was in the fucking sony ecosystem for 30 years right yeah you're talking about 1994 right like that was the like go like i mean that is like the epitome of right in console war like you know superiority or whatever else he took over the ceo of sony in uh or playstation in 2004 uh, 19 like that is the height of when Xbox started to kind of like really push away, like not, not, not the height, but it was like, they're like them full bore saying, we're not going to go exclusive. You know, we, we want to get out there on game pass and PC game pass and all sort of kind of stuff. Right. And I think that it was Jimmy not wanting to play nice with Phil. And I think that, I, yeah, I, I think, I think this is uh Hiroki uh, being like, look, like, we're gonna we're gonna play like we're gonna play nice you know you know what i mean like i again i think this is like a a mutual respect which i 100 percent agree i'm not saying that they're gonna come out here and fucking be lovers i'm not saying that they're gonna come out skipping I out i don't think to i don't loop. think i i i kind of i kind of disagree with you there i don't think it's a mutual respect i think it's just a, a big grudging respect in my opinion but that's just i don't know man I, that's I just think, me i like i think that it is a i mean again do i think sony is gonna be like hey we're gonna start putting our games on xbox no nope. fuck no no right but i think that Before. it is i think it's an understanding and a instead of seeing them as like a direct competitor enemy they're basically saying okay we we see what you're doing we see what you're about right um we know we see what our what our fan base wants um and we see what we are missing out on with the pc fan base and so we're going to this is not like a direct slap to the face of 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 xbox which i think you know really that's what jim did like he was very you could just tell like he was very staunch like i'm here to take you down and watch you suffer um kind of thing to xbox and i think that uh hiroki is is not i think that he is just kind of like look you can be in your space we're going to be in ours we respect you but you know we want to also capitalize on this and start to change it um i just i don't think this is a direct response to xbox saying you know we're going multi-platform because uh xbox has been multi-platform for decades you know what i mean like yeah 
It was nice mm -hmm. to see this level of transparency from Sony, though. We have not seen that, especially not from the uh, CEO of the company in a very long time. So I'm hoping to see no. more transparency like this, even if it was. And he made it very clear this is all business oriented. This is where they're wanting to go to increase profit margins. That is the motivating factor here. So. And I can respect him coming out and directly saying that. Do you think so? We have a question in chat, um, which I think is uh, a great question. Um, so this comes from Celia. Um, under Hiroki, do you think that there will be as many paid exclusives as what we saw under the Jim Ryan era? Um, like you, the third party exclusives like Square Enix? Yeah. Do you see, do you see like Sony that? buying up either uh, more companies and locking them behind the Sony wall? Or do you think that you, I don't will, think they can. See, you will see more games locked behind? um sony pc i don't um, i don't see I them don't. buying up any more companies they they yeah. said in their that little uh that showing hiroki said that they don't really have much they don't budgeted have the profits towards, for it yeah. yeah yeah they don't have anything profited or budgeted towards acquisitions in that regard now i think they will probably stick with their existing contracts because i guarantee oh, yeah. they have a contract with square enix not for not just not just contracts like that but but uh not not just contracts but like good good uh like relationships with people well, as well i, I guess this... the, 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 the 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 specific developers that have always worked well for, worked well with them will continue to work well with them and probably so, be exclusive in my let opinion. me let me frame it this way then because before we went to the whole buying just buying out fucking developers, right? As the way to get games on your platform, there was a, hey, we're gonna we're gonna pay for this game, right? We're gonna buy the game, um, and the rights to the game, uh, and that's kind of gonna be the the status quo. Do you think that we will go? You will see PlayStation fall back to that, or do you think it's gonna just kind of be like a, you know, um, hey, we're gonna we're gonna help fund it, or we're gonna help develop it, um, kind of thing, and and work I, with third party developers more. I, 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 again, like. I, I, I got to go back to what Bill said and, and what I was talking about. I just don't think that they have the, the margins for it. I don't really think that they have the profits for that. They're going to continue to work with the people that they're currently working with because those are relationships and contracts that they already have, right? But they've already stated that, like, PS5 is not doing well. Like, it's it's done well, but well, like yeah, it's, it's starting to it's starting to go into like it's it's later years of of its uh, of its lifespan. So yeah, it's I mean, I, I, they they don't have the they don't have the fucking margins for it in my opinion. As as again for the clickbaity and prepatch has been very open about be be mindful of what you click on and understand clickbait titles. Um, but except like, for ours, p pff, yes, except for ours. <laughs> uh, so I have no control over those titles, by the way. Uh, Sony <laughs> Sony out there saying like, hey, like you know, PS Five sales are to decline. Yeah, no shit, man. You've got fifty four fucking. 55 million units um you know have been sold that's a lot of fucking units like it's 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 not especially it's when not, you're talking about the pro and the uh yeah slim right slim models you know, coming out you're, you're not you're not it's not we level right it's not switch level but you know when you're talking about from a console leader like yeah at a certain point you're gonna have a decline like it's just natural you cannot keep the pacing uh forever so eventually everybody that wants a playstation is going to have to have one right <laughs> like it, it's it's just natural and you know what they and so. they have really rely on is their exclusive still their their first party titles thinking that they they can coast on that but i don't think you know they just they can't so um but this is interesting to see that you're not going to see no existing major franchise title this for april 2025 that's this is this that's is weird huge news man like yeah that's that's super con that that concerns me more than uh this because i because like, you get you got to look at it you got to look at it like this <laughs> like like xbox is bringing out continuing to bring out titles whereas like sony's like their first person at least or their first uh first party franchise titles we're not going to see any of those for another year year and a half you know that's that's just a i don't know i mean that's it's not saying games are not place to be at. again it's yeah, not, not saying not the game's not, not coming out games right? are coming out on playstation obviously that's not going to happen but like this is first probably, party yeah, this titles is saying, are last well, of us and God of War. Party titles. Okay, it's this saying they're existing, existing major from, franchises yeah, major oh, okay. that, yes, that's, yeah. a, that's a specific yeah it's not a god of war seems like they're god of war last not a rest and claim yeah 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 um so which i misunderstood that i'm sorry I do, I do find odd because I thought 
um, that the Horizon like MMO thing was supposed to be uh, pretty soon. Um, so, but I guess I got I guess I got pushed. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, either way, uh, I mean, it's just this. I would be actually interested to see how many first party games that they've got that are coming out. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping year. to see some pretty decent new uh, new franchises. Third parties. Up. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it'll, yeah. be, it'll be interesting to see because you're you're going to start to see. With that being said, you're going to start to see a lot of like uh, like indie titles coming up as well, which is what we we've always stated that I think that indie titles, personally, in my opinion, are are far better than. Well, again, look, look, look Hell Divers. Hell Divers. Hell Divers yeah. is a yeah. fucking PlayStation game. Like that is a PlayStation published fucking PlayStation Studios game. Like that that is a PlayStation game, third party indie develop indie indie developer. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, and I mean, it's, it's, it's more indie than fucking Dave, the diver. So uh, it's not um, with Sony behind it. It's not, <laughs> I, I mean, it's still more indie than Dave, the diver, uh, um, for sure. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, I, look, I, I, we, we're here to report the news. What does this mean? It really comes down to what is Sony going to do over the next year? um with its third party with its uh new ips i mean i think we're all like tired of the fucking uh last of us remaster remakes of the remake of the remasters i'm tired of the fucking same old like sequels coming out again and again and again like give us some new ips give us some I'm, new stuff i'm really you know the, the one the thing that i'm kind of looking at and take this with a grain of salt because i'm not a playstation player right like i, I don't really play those games I, I play them when they come over to the pc right but one thing that i'm kind of looking forward to seeing is if they take this time to kind of reinvent the way that they make some of their existing major franchises like god of war because we've talked about god of war in the past like the the god of war ragnarok you know we, we kind of had the complaint of like it it's basically god of war just with a you know ragnarok skin it's it's the same thing that we got from the last god of war as well it's the same gameplay same gameplay loops you know there there wasn't anything really new per se about it so I i'm really, curious to see if they'll if they'll come up with like if they'll kind of reinvent some of those those major titles and kind of give us something fresh at least you know yeah i really wonder how much of this too is is the fallout of jimmy ryan you know what i mean and just you know really Maybe, them yeah. really them kind of going in and being like yeah all these things that we had planned are real fucked or not real fucked but are not where we should have been we're gonna pull them back we're gonna tweak them we're gonna bring them back to the I'm days also, of what playstation is known for and i'm i'm also i'm also curious to see if this is kind of like they're them kind of taking a step back because they they don't necessarily feel like they can re rely entirely on like modern warfare anymore right like call of duty that was a big thing between uh that they kind of brought up when uh microsoft was was you know when they had when they were in the uh in the courtroom was like they relied so heavily on call of duty releases to make them money to make their first party you know their their major first party titles right, right. so i'm curious if this is them going back and being like okay we need to we need to come up with a better strategy other than relying on modern war or call, or call of duty i mean they, right they're am i wrong in saying they're they're still going to have call of duties for the next like 10 they're years. Still they're gonna have yeah. the, i'm not the i'm not saying that it's gone but yeah, no, that was one of their that was one of their arguments was that they were like well if we don't have call of duty and we can't rely on call of duty that's where we've been getting a lot of our Do you money think from. they're reacting that hard to that now though i mean i, don't, they still I, have I think it's i think it's a so i think it's, it's like a smart a, business a future business proof, choice yeah just like 100 yeah. percent. yeah it's, it's, it's no, a future I, it's I, a future proof of them stepping yeah, that's back and being like yeah. we need to figure I, this out just saying. in case just in case call of duty gets ripped out from underneath us we're right. not we're not sitting there with our pants down right yeah 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 so it could be um, very well cool well hey one of the things i want to real fast i i got a big question with all of this news with Sony and PlayStation and their multi-platform plan, do you think we might finally see Bloodborne on PC after all this time? No. No? <laughs> just just straight, straight up no? I was I was hoping that it was going to be on PC already, dude. Like, I know, dude. We've been hoping for so many years. I don't know we why it's not on here yet, dude. Like, that's I, one I, of the I, biggest fucking franchises that you know people what? have been sitting here asking for That was the first thing years. I thought of when you I know, seen all this. I'm like, please let this be so it. So, I'll, I'll let I'll let Bill go last as as the resident souls expert um here. But I will say 
thinking about it, my first gut reaction was no, because they'll save it whenever they need it, and they'll save it for like that moment that they need to like get good grace and 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 drop it because everybody wants it. Hey, but dude. you know, but you know what? I think they need good grace. This, I think Never. this, I think this could be the time that they do it to be like, hey, we're not going to get anything new or major existing <laughs> franchise titles from now until 2025. But you know what? You're going to get fucking Bloodborne on I, I, uh, on PC. This is big news, and I think if they do drop it, then it'll solidify like people's beliefs in what they're trying to do. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. so Bill, I, I want you to have the final word on on that one specifically because again, you are the resident uh, Souls expert. What what do you what do you think, man? Look into your crystal ball. Please tell me that you're seeing Bloodborne uh, I, on PC. I, I see it at the same time that they do a Bloodborne remaster i don't think we're going to no. get it on pc until they do a bloodborne remaster and i see it coming with probably the ps5 pro the next the next console or the pro the pro because I, I i was thinking the next console like that would be a huge set the pro, for the next console if, if not the pro then the next console yeah yeah because if, if they're if they're struggling with like I, I I should say that's just my opinion. It, is, it seems like they're struggling with their first their their existing major franchises, right? If they're struggling that much with them, that would be a big seller for a new console, right? Like oh, yeah. the, a remaster for Bloodborne if they brought it into like the newest age. Grant, which just, granted, the Bloodborne is not that old. Like I mean, it is old, but it's not. I just it, feel it's like aged with, well, you know, with these two right here back to back, man. Like it's just like, dude, you, like you're setting it up, like you're. Hiroki, you're teeing that fucking thing up real nice yeah, yeah. to just be like, I don't, I mean, I don't think it's going to come right <clears throat> now because no. El Elden Ring is around the fuck, like the Elden Ring DLC is around the fucking corner. Uh, and th I don't think that they'll drop Bloodborne PC close to it. Uh, I mean, Elden from Ring. software doesn't necessarily need to have anything to do with a Bloodborne I, I know, remaster but the, because it's yeah. Sony owned. Right. But I, but very true. But think about it. If you are Sony, why would you cannibalize any of it right like you, you leave them you mutually could own the fucking sphere for a while where you have elden ring which i'm not saying that elden ring is like known for sony but it's still from software you have elden ring like nobody nobody not nobody but a lot of people are not going to see bloodborne and immediately go oh sony platform they're going to immediately going to go oh from software uh, I just don't see I don't see it as a business decision to be in that same area. So I don't know. We'll see. But if you enjoyed this small segment of the show, make sure to stop by every Thursday when we do this at 1030 p.m. Eastern live on YouTube and Twitch. Or you can catch us on anchor.fm forward slash prepatch podcast or any of your podcast apps. Thank you. <laughs>